Garden and Christy shares a little bit. It'll be good. So, going to call the uh, town council meeting to order for March 9th, twenty twenty. The first order of, in, of order of business is the invocation and pledge. <coughs> Almighty God, we thank you for the freedom to meet uh, together to make decisions uh, in the life of our town. Uh, we thank you for the safety that we have meeting here together. Uh, please be with us as we make those decisions, God. Thank you for the beautiful spring weather and for good health. Uh, please be with those who are not in good health um, as we come out of a mild winter. I pray all this in your son's name, Jesus. Amen. 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 Terry, you want to give us a pledge? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Sorry. That's quite all right. I figured we'd go ahead and get started and you'd be on your way. Okay, everyone received a copy of the minutes from February 10th. Any comments, questions? All right, the only thing I wanted to add was I received a letter from Dean Gass um, regarding, I guess, the, the Beacon newsletter. And I just wanted to add this to the minutes for the record. And well, I don't think we can add it to the minutes because we didn't have it. Can we add at the it last meeting? I mean, meeting? just add it to the record. Can we add it to the, the record? Just, yeah. just the letter? Right. And then just, you know, we've talked about it. It looks like it's been handled and somebody will be reaching out to them. So. Okay, good. So I'm pleased with that. Okay. Any other comments, questions on the minutes? I move to approve the February 10th, 2020 minutes as presented. I'll second. Second. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. Rebecca, Treasurer's report, please. All right, we'll briefly just talk about the February financial information in your packet. During the month, I did not need to transfer money to or from the local government investment pool. We are 67% through the budget year. There's nothing really I need to specifically talk about, but if you all review that and have any questions, just let me know. I did respond to 26 fiscal notes during the Maryland legislative session this year. An update on the glass recycling that we've been talking about for some time. The container is being fabricated. They're hoping it will be done Friday. We've picked the location, which is in the parking lot across from Good Earth, the paper parking lot. And so we'll get the word out in the next weekend and on social media once we know it's there and available for residents to use that. So what we will be doing is each time it's picked up, and of course in the beginning we won't know how long it takes to fill it up, but each time it's picked up there'll be a charge and then the per tonnage fee <coughs> to the disposal site will be charged to us as well. What kind of, what kind of, like, do they have to take the tops off glass bottles? What kind of glass are no, we? No, tops can stay on glass okay. bottles. Well, well Everything just needs to be rinsed, okay. just like normal. Okay. And then there'll be receptacles that are wide enough to take, you know, up to what's normal and customary, probably bigger than the wine bottle. Okay. But it's supposed to keep people from putting other things besides glass inside. And is it colored glass or just white glass? Clear any, glass? Any glass. Any glass? Any glass. That's except cool. like a window, and I don't think anyway it's going to try to fit a piece of window glass in that okay. hole. But, you know, anything you're, you're in your household that's made of glass, regardless of color. Okay. And the tops can stay on. And we'll have, like, directions or something on the side of the of the bin? I'm not sure if they'll put a sticker on the bin. Mm -hmm. we, we can talk about that. But what we'll try to do is make sure that we update the website and social media and the beacon so that people aren't confused about what you're doing. Yeah. Yep. That'd be helpful for me. <laughs> so I know what to put in there. That would be great. And then, Rebecca, real quick, you said it'll be, so the town's discretion when it's picked up, like when it's well, filled or? I think they're only going to want to pick it up when it's relatively full. Okay. We're not going to put it on a schedule until we know 
sort of how people are using it. And over time, I think it's going to be more mm -hmm. um, in use. But at this point, it's just going to be. They'll be, they'll be monitoring it and seeing yeah. right in these. I guess to see how frequently it is yeah. being exactly. used. Okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you. And the budget workshop for council was rescheduled to next Monday, so the 16th at 4 o'clock. And then at the adjournment of today's meeting, I'll distribute the draft copy for everyone to okay. have. Okay. Is that available to the general public yet? No. When will Just for council. So after council workshop, and I think the week before the next April council meeting, one day during that week, it's going to be available for the general public. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I saw income tax on here, and we're at fifty-five percent. When do we do? We just does it trickle in as people do their? How's that? The way it normally works is every quarter we get what the state estimates is our share of withholding, and any reconciling adjustments. So if people file late, gotcha. Those things get incorporated. So we get the four <coughs> big payments, and then at the end of fiscal year 20, we'll get another reconciling payment. But we are ahead of what we budgeted. Because ultimately, if you remember, FY19 came in over budget, but those numbers weren't available when we adopted the FY20 budget. So it's a little bit of a catch up. Sure. Any other questions for Rebecca? Now, do we have to introduce the ordinance? Oh, I forgot about yeah. that. That's on my, yeah, that's like an agenda item. Do you need a copy? Because the, um, the charter requires that we introduce the ordinance before it's adopted, I did put on the agenda today to adopt the budget ordinance. The public hearing isn't going to be until the April Council meeting. So, yes, that ordinance does need to be introduced. That's ordinance number 194, an ordinance adopting the budget and setting the property tax rate for fiscal year 2021. And then uh, we'll hold the public hearing in April. April. So we need a motion to that effect? No, we don't have to. Oh, we this is just, 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 um, I don't yeah, know. We just, we just introduced it. approval during the adoption right. process. Yeah. Okay. So. Okay, so you, you just. Introduced. Introduced. Yeah, so. We have to show it on record. Right. Okay. Anything else? That's it. Any questions for Rebecca? Okay. Thank you. Jada, planning, please. Uh, planning and Zoning Commission has had a little bit of a hiatus lately. Mm -hmm. We haven't met since, since uh, September of 2019. Wow. Um, they will not have a meeting again this month. However, they will have meetings. Okay, and moving on then, police report. Christy Nelson is out with a sprained or broken ankle, sprained actually. Sprained and then she. Uh, hairline fracture. fracture. Right, two. so she should be back, what, next week, I think? Just She was just going to be yeah, out two weeks. Like yeah, week so. Okay, we'll go ahead and move on to your report, please. Okay. First item is. Um, Approval of task order number 21 for GHD Incorporated um, re regarding uh, SCADA system technical support. The computer system that operates the wastewater treatment plant is very technical and the operators need the support from the design engineers occasionally. This task order would be uh, the means for chart for billing for them to bill us for those hours as needed. Um, and it, it was on it up to $10,000 is what the max on it was but it will just be an on-call. We talked about this at our workshop with the engineers in February. Um, any questions on that? So, so th it's the new uh, system since the ENR upgrade. So this has come out of the operating budget for the... Right. Budget. And then as we talked about at the uh, next meeting, uh, we will be bringing forward the uh, the expansion uh, task order, which will be significantly more than that. <laughs> yes, um, yeah. a little bit. But we talked about the importance of the expansion and moving that forward, so next month we'll be bringing that forward. Any 
questions? All right, I move to approve task order number 21 with GHD for the technical support for the SCADA system operating the wastewater treatment plant. This is an hourly as needed task order. I'll second. Motion and second. Further discussion? Do we need to say that it's up to $10,000 or just that? Um, well, I mean, it's, that's how That's it's what the task order. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Oh, yeah, see. Any other questions, comments? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. Okay, the next item is an update from the artist on the historic marker. Um, in October of 2019, artist Susan Carney gave a presentation and received consensus for moving forward with ideas on funding a historic marker to recognize the long history of indigenous pe people that lived in the area. She's here today, and um, she provided a drawing or a, a rendering of what she was talking about, and she's going to give you an update on that. Susan. Welcome back. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Brought some uh, guests with you today. Oh, yes, I'm my biggest fan. <laughs> <laughs> Good. So, um, yeah, so happily everybody was on board on doing a historic marker, so I went to work trying to figure out what would be on it, how it would look, and so forth. And um, I got a lot of help from most especially Ed Cheney at the Maryland Archaeological Conservation Lab, which I'm sure everybody's familiar with. And he helped me very much with the wording, the timeline, and the images. So um, the <coughs> image of the, uh, I, guess, I, I guess all of you have copies? Not copies everybody in the yeah. here, but for those of you that don't have a copy of the website, um, the painting on the left is meant to sort of imagine or in conjecture, if you will, of what it could have looked like looking down on, on Macintosh Run as it turns into the bay. And um, then the other rendering is one that I had brought with me, but to represent the landscape more like closer up. Mm -hmm. And I wanted, uh, Ed really helped me a lot. He said, keep it simple not much wording um, and just uh, easy to understand by by anyone you know the way you do the dates the just a couple of points you know and then label them and that in the sign credit area will definitely be the the archaeological center because they probably help the most funding which now I can start, if I get approval, hopefully I can start working on funding. Um, Michelle Walker and Ina Smith, who are both with the Maryland Heritage you know, organizations, recommended partnering with a nonprofit. So I talked to Mel Elder and Michelle, and probably I'll partner with St. Mary's Arts Council um, for the money, which will be about $2,500 for a sign that's about 36 by 24 standard size on legs that you can walk up to and read. And that counts everything but the installation. Even I think the hardware it includes for the going into the concrete. And um, the place where I think it would be the best is I've gone down there a lot and looked and thought about the imagery and in the event that you all like the imagery is right in between the two war historical markers because two reasons well three really you're looking right out at this area as you're reading it and also right next to that is a map of Breton Bay, which I think is helpful to people that are not from the area who come down there. And also because it's um, for people who are not from Leonardtown would see it there, because we generally walk in that area and maybe not in some of the other parts. 
where the other historical signs are. Yes, like, like in between. No, um, the ones that look right out on the water. Oh, and they're about the, the wharf. The waterfront. Yeah, ones about the wharf. They're both talking about back in the day, mm -hmm. 20s and 30s. And the great thing about the one on the right is the map, which is from the, the 1800s, I think. Um, so that's just my opinion. Um, could, could the other yeah, ones? I mean, the yeah, I don't, two I don't think we have, have to worry, yeah. concern, be concerned about that today. Right. No, I mean, we can, we can I mean, figure that's that out. further yeah. down the yeah. line to get funding, <laughs> approval. Maybe you, there's something that you like wanted to tweet or <laughs> comment on, or any questions. I guess that's my basic spiel. <laughs> um, I, one question, have, have you contacted the Piscataway tribes? Well, I've worked with Rico Newman, who okay. is the Piscataway representative to the Commission of Indian Affairs. Okay, good. And he's been very helpful, very supportive, and also the vice chairman of the Commission of Indian Affairs has been very helpful okay. and very supportive. Yeah, I just want to make sure seen, they've, they've, they've approved this. this and, okay. Yeah, and they like this. And I'm also, I just got an email today from the Education Commissioner on the Indian Affairs. She's might be from the Eastern Shore, I can't remember, but she wants to also weigh in on the, on the image. Okay. Um, so you I use part of it for a coloring book. Okay. That we're doing. So that's a whole other issue. But yes, I, that was the first person I got in touch with because I wanted him to be with me all along the way. Sure. And, um, and he and Ed Cheney are, are friends, so that was good. So you know, they had a relationship. Um, so uh, you just want consensus to move forward with this, I guess? I think so, yeah. just to go ahead and start writing up a grant, yeah. working with Mel, and Lucille. I mean, Lucille, they have grants also that go up to 5,000. Mm -hmm. um, she's really busy now because they just got a bunch in. So, um, I, I don't know. She said the first thing for me to do was partner with a nonprofit. So, so now that, that I can go ahead and maybe partner with St. Mary's Arts Council. Sure. And then go to the Okay. Who, who's responsible for the other signs that we have down there? Are we? We, we are, and they're um, in the budget this year for an update. Yeah, I was going to say, they're looking a little... Yeah, there's a couple that you, that you can't read. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So is that something that we would be maintaining then once we got the sign? Um, yes, probably. Okay. Because we do all the others. Mm -hmm. And once it's on attached on our property. Once it's on our property. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And the person, if you care, the person, Dennis Kuhn, who designed this and who will make it is very involved in, um, like he's done a whole bunch of signs at Old Town Alexandria Historical Markers, and Ed Cheney recommended that I use him. And he actually worked with us on um, the oh, okay. um, signage that for the information signs that are in three locations in town. So, yeah. Okay. The, the, like John Smith Chesapeake? No, the, the ones that are in the park that show where the parking is and the businesses and stuff. Though. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah. Um, well, he's been he's been really great. He's done a ton of work for nothing <laughs> so far. Just, you know, he's, okay. he's I'm sure. Yeah, just paid. consensus. So, yeah, everyone good with yeah. the yeah. Thank moving forward. Yeah, thank you. The okay. pictures are beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Great. Yep. Great. All right. Thank, thank you very so much. much. Thank, thank you. you. The she's Susan the artist. Is her. Yeah, she's Susan's the artist. The artist. Yeah. I did the artwork. Now, having said that, I do want, I do need to put that somewhere on here, but it's going to be really small. Sure. It's no, no, that's, no, that's, <laughs> no, that's <laughs> more than fair. I'm yeah. trying to get, you know, no, no problem at all. So. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The next item is a liquor license letter of support. Uh, Bottom of the Hill restaurant has been sold and will, will be reopening as Happy Seafood Place. And the new owners, AJ and T Group, are requesting a letter of support for a Class B restaurant license. 
they are not uh, requesting the outdoor extension of premise as the other restaurants in that location have had in the past, so it would just be for the interior. Is this a transfer of the existing license? It's not. They're applying for a new license. Is that the same class that they had before? Yes, restaurant. No, it's my understanding they own like three or four other restaurants. Gordy's here. I don't oh. know. Can you add anything to that? He actually brought him by to introduce him. Yes, uh, Honorable Mayor, they have interest in restaurants <laughs> in Miami, New York, and one up in Howard County. Um, okay. And uh, one of the partners has run a very successful takeout business um, near Johns Hopkins University. So they're definitely <coughs> not amateurs in the business. Okay. They have good experience. Good. And while we're speaking to you, I know it's seafood. Any idea of what the type of menu they're going to have? Have they come up with it? Menu, it's a lot of shrimp, a lot of local caught fish. They want to source locally, uh, keep the staff that's there to the extent that they can, bring in some new staff. Uh, they're completely redoing the kitchen. It'll be more of a wok style cooking instead of a you know grill and okay. so forth. It's very much uh, related with seafood, frankly. Yep. Okay. But it's so uh, an Oriental style seafood, then, I guess. <coughs> wow. Style. Yeah. Okay. Very good. Thank you. Any other questions for the liquor license approval? Nope. Anyone care to make a motion? I move to approve a liquor license letter of support for a Class B restaurant license for Happy Seafood Place, purchasing Bottom of the Hill, located at 40874 Merchants Lane. No second. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you very much. Okay, the next item is um, an easement for outdoor seating with Seymour Town Properties. The council approved a permanent structure for outdoor seating uh, for an outdoor seating area for Sweet Bay Restaurant last month, um, or previously, when was it? Was it one last month? No, I think it was in the fall, October. Yeah. Um, this easement just lays out the maintenance, the liability, and the approval process for any construction. Um, just felt it needed to be um, documented and how it would um, be handled if, if, for instance, <coughs> this restaurant decided to, to, to leave and another restaurant can't come in, um, then you all would have that approval. Um, it would come back to you once again um, that, that they will maintain it and that um, we aren't liable if somebody would get injured or something like that while they're at their seating. So and this was drawn up by our attorney? Our attorney, yes. Just felt that there needed to be some kind of documentation. So if somebody drives over the curb, they're they're responsible right. for. It we don't have any liability, and they fix it for their customers are sitting there. And yeah, yeah. It's a good idea. Do we have an example of this with any of the other um, restaurants in town? No, because we really haven't done any um, any new extensions. I mean. This is really the first one that's going out into the street, so you right. know, all the other extensions have just been on the sidewalk. Like seating, so. on, mm -hmm. not yeah. building a, a new structure. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess when, um, I guess Cafe went in, that's probably, you know, they've had tables out there. Um, and then when Streetscape came through, they modified that corner a little bit, but that was State Highway, not mm -hmm. the, the restaurant. So we really haven't had anyone do this before. Like I said, we've already approved it. It's just really documenting um, liability and ownership. Have they said when they were going to start this project? They're ready to go as soon as we okay. get this done. Good. And they reviewed this easement. They're fine with it? Yes. Okay. They actually um, wanted to spell out. We made a change. So uh, it already had language in there that if this <coughs> restaurant left, uh, then uh, we would, it would have to come back to the town for approval. And they just wanted to kind of spell it out a little bit more that they're, because um, there's two different entities, Seymour Town Properties who own the building, and then Washington and Park, which is the restaurant. So both of them are signing this document, but there's language in here. If Washington Park goes away, then their liability <coughs> also goes away. Washington Park. But Seymour Town will continue to exactly. have the liability. Right. And, and whatever new 
restaurant would come in, we would, you know, just update that. Washington, Washington and Park is Sweet Bay. Right, yeah. right, I got that. Yeah. Um, I guess I'm just, <coughs> so if, if Washington and Park or Sweet Bay goes out and then somebody drives over the curb, and ruin, you know, ruins it and needs to be repaired. Seymour Town Properties will be repairing it. Right, they'll it's stay. It never comes back to us. Right, yeah. right, right. Unless the whole easement goes away or something. Right. Yeah. That's good to me. Any other questions? All right, I move to approve the easement document and the approval given at the February 10th meeting for a permanent outdoor seating area for a Sweet Bay restaurant. I'll second the motion. Motion and second for the discussion. <coughs> I think a, an easement uh, seems to be a little inappropriate, especially if we don't have any other examples of this um, with the other restaurants that have outdoor dining. Uh, maybe uh, I did have this conversation with our attorney and, and he had needed more information to see if an easement was the proper document and he felt it was um, because they're actually constructing new, in, they're taking two parking spaces and constructing a new um, facility there. One hour road. Yeah. As I understood it when they brought that proposal forward, it was just an extension of the sidewalk to look similar right. to the other end of the sidewalk. Well, At first it was a a temporary right um, now it's going to be raised a, like platform area right, exactly like everywhere else with the brick pavers and the and um, the raised curve so once they finished constructing it uh, it would still be the property of the town right but they are going to be using it so that's why they need the easement and they they have to maintain it, and they have to cover have liability coverage on it for their customers that are sitting in our on our property. If somebody trips on the, you know, gets hurt, they're responsible for it because they're constructing. You know, they're the ones that constructed it. But none of the other restaurants have that have a, a formal. No. No, but none so of them have built any structures like this. <clears throat> They're just on the sidewalk that has been there. And it varies uh, from building to building who actually owns the sidewalk. So there may be, um, I don't know, the Rex has, they may even own that section. I don't know off the top of my head, but, uh, and they just have tables sitting up next to their building. They're not out in the street and they're not constructing new facility. I mean, I'll be honest, that, con that corner does concern me a little bit. It's really, really tight when you're driving by at night. I think this will actually help. It, and if this, this helps. Hopefully, and, and we need to repaint the curb by um, patina and stone because mm -hmm. when people park there, it makes it even harder to, mm -hmm. to pass. Yeah. But I think the, vi the visibility is going to really improve. We can move that stop sign out mm -hmm. where it belongs. Right. And I think it's really going to actually help a lot. It'll, it'll yeah. make it um, make people go slower, yeah. probably through right. there. Because right. it gets if there's two cars, if it's one car is trying tight. to go one yeah. way or the other way, especially if people park where they're not supposed to. Right. Like well, if if there's two cars in these two parking spaces that they're eliminating, you can't you can't see. see. Can't yeah. see around. Yeah. Right. That will help yeah. the visibility. I think it will. Yeah. It really will actually help a lot. But I mean, that would be my concern is that somebody may be hitting the curb on a regular basis. But if they're responsible for fixing it, then. Uh, that's that I mean that's the only thing that I saw being an issue is because it sure. is so tight in there, yeah. right. and that's just you know we'll see how it goes. But sure. I'm glad it's on them and not on us. So, right. And this could be future conversation, but you know once the the curbing and, and the seating's in, we could always revisit it for maybe possibly making it a one way street. You know if if it's too congested or oh, yeah, I mean like I said we're not there yet. We just yeah. need to see how this works. But sure. it's just an idea. It's just hard just because that's where our main parking is. So. That's true. Well, I guess you can make it one always way come up that way. Yeah. yeah, just a thought. I yeah, mean, one yeah. way in. Just see how this plays yeah, one out. way in. <laughs> no <laughs> way out. Right. So. Yep. That's a good thought. Any other questions? Any further discussion? I think that's a good idea, Jay. Okay, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Okay, motion carries. Thank you.
Okay, um, my last item is <coughs> approval of an easement for an uh, EV electronic vehicle charging station facility on Park Avenue. So this would go in the uh, parking lot, the brick paved parking lot across from Gooder, where we're putting the glass container. <laughs> Busy little parking lot. Um, and so for years we've discussed at different times having a charging station and um, uh, Council Member Roger Mattingly, I remember he it was really something that he was really pushing for at the time. And we had seen that SMECO were, was getting some, um, some of the charging stations that to be able to put around the county. So I contacted them and we got on the list and um, so they're putting uh, a number of them actually this is the only one on our property, but what did we count, J6, I think? I think it's about six, six in town. Six others that will be on, like, the governmental center, the old sheriff's office, um, all on, on um, CSM property. CSM, right? And Board of Ed, um, Health Department. So there's going to be several of them around. Um, so this easement is just for them to, they will in install it. There's a, there was a picture in your packet of what it looks like. Um, it reserves two spots. That parking lot is very underutilized, so I don't think it'll impact parking. Um, and then the customer pays for the electric that they use. Either there's an app on their phone or um, they'll be able to use a credit card. So it's really not costing us anything. And there is an alternate location um, that could come to pass if one of the others drop out um, at the parking lot by Hair Company, the other public parking <coughs> lot. This easement doesn't cover that at this time because that's just a backup. So okay. for right now, it's just the one on parking I thought lot. that one was confirmed, so that one's not yet. No, that okay. is a, um, a backup. So we, they can charge, no matter what, it's two cars at the same time. Okay. Same, yeah. And like, and just verifying what you just said, we're not paying for this or we don't have to maintain it. We're just providing right. a all place for them to put it. A place to put it and then the customer pays for the electric. Okay. Do they have like an app or something where people can find these? You know, like if you're an electric car? Yeah, I would imagine that they do. I don't know. Definite, but uh, I would going. imagine it would be part of the app that you can do to actually pay for it. Yeah, yeah. probably is to locate it. I think that's cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we just need a motion to approve the easement. I move to approve the easement for SMECO to install an EV charging station at the public parking lot located at 41690 Park Avenue. I'll second. Further discussion? <coughs> Who is the grantee in the easement? Um, would be, um, yes, the town. Oh, uh, yeah, it would be us because we own the parking lot. No, the grantee is Smeco. We're the grantor. Oh, yeah, we're, we're the grantor. grantor. Right. Yes, yeah. they are the grantor. Yeah. Yes. Look, so right on. Smeco will be the one maintaining. Maintaining and then. Correct. Yes, yes. Grantor, yeah. Further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Aye. Motion carries. Very good. And then just um, not an agenda item, but we do next month, we will be, be bringing through a packet of text amendments Jade has been working on, um, just cleaning up some things over the years that we, we kind of keep a file on text amendments. Um, we also will need to be moving forward a comp comprehensive plan. Um, update change um, in anticipation for the annexation that we've talked about for the nursing center for the memory care facility near um, Cedar Lane. Um, so that has a very long, lots of public hearings and things like that, but the first thing we have to do is to uh, amend our comp plan to show that as a possible future area of growth and that goes to the state. Um, we went through this process when we annexed the last property, um, Wilkinson Farm and um, Watham Farm um, because that wasn't originally in our comp plan. So just giving you a heads up that that will, process will be starting. So we'll introduce legislation next, next month and then hold a public hearing after that. So it's just, it won't be action next month. Um, and then just um, for those who attended, the state of the town was February 14th. It was really well attended, a very, very positive meeting as always. So thanks for coming. 
that's it. Okay. Uh, as far as my report, um, I was going to mention the state of the town and uh, Doug. I know you were there. You want to expand on, you know, what your thoughts of work of it were? Uh, I, thought, I thought it was good. I was, I was surprised at the size of the crowd. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I, I think it was a little over 100 people there. So. Yeah, I ended up at the head of the table by the uh, <laughs> council members, so yeah. that was good. Yeah. Um, I, I thought that the you know, focus on, on a strategic plan and where we're going is, is, was really interesting, and I think people were, were paying attention and, and had their kind of giveaways when that was good. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, those little ornaments were cute. Yeah. Yeah. Donna made those. Donna, yeah. 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 Somebody made those. Okay. Um, just uh, talking about everything that's going on, I'm uh, just driving through Clark's Rest. I see there's over 20 houses either under construction or sold. Uh, Meadows, they've got close to 20 either un you know, constructed or, or under construction and sold. So things are moving. Um, checked with Jada last week on the um, Meadows at uh, the Hamptons. And I think we've issued over 50 EDUs now, or 50 uh, uh, use and occupancy permits, so so they're moving along too. So. I think she said they only had two or something that left in building one. There wasn't many. Yeah, wasn't many left, yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So how, how many total um, residences? 142. Are yeah. Okay. And yeah. I have just never seen the kind of bidding war when something opens up and, and you know, property is available. It's like we get tons of phone calls, and I mean, the landlords have really yeah, like we've a got bidding war going on. Met with three people last week that was looking for a spot in yeah. downtown, yeah, and, there's and there's just nothing available right now that's for their, you know, for what they're looking for. So, and anything going to happen with the uh, Bank of America or the PNC under underneath? I, I or the, old, well, the, the old PNC. The, old the PNC. PNC. They're okay. talking to people now. Yeah, they're okay. actually. Because that's been a long time. It's close to, I think, five close, years, isn't it? Um, no, well, no. since it closed. Yeah. But but the new people just bought it like three years ago. Right. So. Okay. Um, so something helpful will be going in there. Yeah, I think they're close with two different people down for downstairs, not a restaurant, but. Uh, two different retail spots or. Um, one retail, one service. Right. <laughs> right. Okay. Good. And then Bank of America, they still are trying to get the title straight, and uh, hopefully that goes quick. But again, we're dealing with people in New York and Chicago, everywhere. They, I indicated to them that you know there's a local um, uh, person to get the title cleared up quick, mm -hmm. but they can't use them. They have to use go through these certain people. So hopefully that comes out yeah. quick and goes on. So yep. Okay, um, welcome spring, all the events that uh, we've got going on, as you all have a copy of that. Um, so, plenty going on this spring, so move on to community development and planning. Hayden? I don't have anything to report. Okay, Christy, utilities? Um, as Lachelle said, we're working, getting ready to start on the upgrade to the treatment plant, so that'll be a big project. Um, and then some... Um, more in my little area of the world, um, they've, the Route 5 widenings looks like it's moving along. They're putting the water main in down the street. And it looks, I mean, considering what they're driving in people's yards and stuff, it's fairly clean, yeah. as clean as it can yeah. be, I think. Yeah. It's still rough, though. I mean, it's. Yeah, but it's it actually is going quicker. It's not I, going I bad. So. I don't yeah. think it seems to be. They're marching right along. Yeah. yeah. So that's all I really have. Okay. And Tony's really been troubleshooting mm -hmm. with the neighbors and trying. Yeah, I see to him in and out all the he's time. He's trying to be a, a local face because they may not get the cooperation. Yeah, working no, that's with great. Highway contractors. So I, I just heard from someone on Friday who was kind of complaining, kind of just venting, and, and just said Tony's been right there. And, yeah, and they he, they appreciated that good. a lot. Yeah, so he's been out there great. a lot. It's great. Yeah, it's good to have him out there. Okay, Jay, Southern Maryland Municipal Association. All right, Mayor, thank you. So I was at the State of the Town. Um, I would say that was, again, to echo you. you it was uh, very well attended, probably one of the largest crowds that I think I feel like I've seen since I've been going there. It was, it was great. Everyone was engaged and was anxious to hear what Leonardtown has, you know, going on right now. And, again, thank the staff. I know, Lachelle, you worked hard, Terry, Mayor, everyone else that had, you know, Beth that played a part in it. 
Um, I know it was a lot of work that went into that day, so I definitely appreciate it. Um, a few other things, the Southern Maryland Municipal Association meeting will be here on Wednesday at 6 o'clock, right Terry? I know we talked about that at 6 p.m., so I'm looking forward to that. Hopefully we have a little more of a turnout than what's coming so far. Fingers crossed. Um, I did attend the ribbon cutting ceremony for the upgraded facade at the North End Gallery, and I know the mayor was there, and Lachelle, I think that was a, a pretty nice turnout as well, and yeah. to see their improvements. Did you get there after? I got there after. I saw yeah. you walk in the Yeah, we, we pulled, I think, right, and it's fine, and it was what it was. Yeah, it, it, that facade grant has really done wonders for these buildings. Yeah. I mean, it's really. beautiful. Mm -hmm. It's been great. Um, and last, uh, April 25th, 2020, is my next Maryland Municipal League Board of Directors meeting, and that's held in Annapolis. And that's all I have to report. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Mary, business development and retention. Okay. Um, I saw a Sweet Bay is serving breakfast. I'm so excited on Sundays. That's going to yep. be awesome. Oh, wow. Brunch. Brunch. Nice. Yeah. And so lunch so on Saturdays. And Saturdays, Sundays. yeah. Oh. I saw, Sundays was it just this weekend Friday. that it opened? Friday and Saturday. No, Friday and Saturday, yes. Friday and Saturday and brunch on Sunday, right yeah, at 11 or something. Uh, that looked fantastic. So I'm really excited that's coming in. Um, the Slice House has begun uh, renovating Big Larry's. So I'm not sure how long that's going to take, but they'll be coming in here. And then I um, also wanted to echo how well the state of the uh, town went. And Lachelle, you were dynamite. You're just an amazing speaker, and it was great when you got up there. But everybody stopped, and I really wanted to compliment you on that. And I thought that was great. And I um, wanted to let you all know that I went to the St. Mary's celebration of the 100th anniversary of the 19th Amendment, giving women the right to vote yesterday for Inter International Women's Day, which... If anybody noticed, it was actually 23 hours and not 24 hours, so we got shorted again. <laughs> shorted again. But it was a fantastic event. I really have to commend the people that put it together. I wasn't sure what to expect and um, ended up, you know, being, I did, a, I did a welcome, which I'm learning, Mayor, how to, how to do that. You know, it's like, I don't know, welcome. Huh? Everybody welcome to Leonardtown. Um, you know, and then I'm stuck up there on the podium, so I got to sit through the entire thing or up at the front which um, unfortunately it's tax season, so I kept looking at my watch going, all right, I gotta go. But um, I really was glad to sit there because the speakers were wonderful, the, you know, the entertainment was great. They just really did a great job and it was a lot of positive energy, so I was really excited. Good. Well, I wasn't there because I was at Lachelle's birthday party <laughs> yesterday. So. I know, it all happens during yeah. tax season. Why? Everything happens this time of year. And actually, I went in Antoinette's garden last week, and they have done a fantastic job. I thought they weren't doing much renovation, but I'm really excited for really? to open as well. Good. It's going to be just a really nice addition. So. How, how soon are they going to be open? I, hopefully by the end of the month. That's what he said. Yeah. Okay, nice. Good. And then they want to do a facade for the next round and open up the door, you know, you have doors that open up. So I think it'll be a really nice addition. But they did a really nice job. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, and all the w new windows down on the um, Crazy for You, yeah. and, and mm -hmm. that looks yeah. beautiful too. Yeah, it's wonderful. To get done. It's it really made a beautiful. really updated yeah. that building. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's gonna, they have a lot more to do. It's going to be beautiful. Great. That's I mean, the downtown has really filled in. I was the other night. I was um, the camera that we own on top of the bank building. That's on our website. So every once in a while, you know, I go on that and I look. And I was able to screenshot a picture of it. Uh, it's on my Instagram. I didn't put it on Facebook yet. But I was like, wow, every parking spot is filled. Oh, People wow. are walking across the street. Traffic's, you know, coming through. I'm like, this, this is what we've needed for a long time. And it's, okay. it's happening. Yeah, yeah I, Good see stuff. That, I see that lower parking lot now has cars in it that used to comment that there was never yeah. anybody yeah. in it. But yeah. I drive by, you know, at, in the yeah. evening. Yeah. And, yeah. It's, well, and it's yeah. filling up. So it's good. that's good. And Probably and, means and they're going to need more the, parking. The Drury building put lights on their side of their building so people coming to park back here have, have no, lights. Okay. And we've got the, the Smeco light we just put up too. So Very good. Yep. Yeah, looks good. So that's all I had. Okay. Thank you. Anybody have anything else? If not, I'd entertain a motion to adjourn. Move to adjourn. Move to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. 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 Very good, and I'll be hanging around a little bit if anybody has any questions.